I'm here again to give you some helpful advice about what you should read and what you shouldn't read, and specifically who you shouldn't bother with reading. Everybody raves about this guy, Philip K. Dick. Look, they even put uh, a whole bunch of his novels into this Library of America editions with the nice paper and the special ribbon bookmarks, but it's all just silly sci-fi stuff. Why would you want to waste your time on that? He's written all sorts of short stories as well, and you could waste hours and hours and hours reading this stuff. Instead, maybe you should just watch television shows and movies. If you've got a hankering for The Man in the High Castle, you don't need to read a novel. They've already got a whole show about that. If you want to read The Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, why bother with that when you can just watch The Blade Runner and we could go through story and story and novel and novel. There have been so many adaptations of this guy's writings that you basically don't need to read or even listen to them. Somebody's already taken all the best parts and digested them and thrown them onto the silver screen or the screen of your phone or that of your laptop where you can watch these things to your heart's content. And I'd really suggest that you don't bother with this head cracker, the exegesis of Philip K. Dick. It's just a bunch of crazy ramblings that don't really give us anything useful. I mean, Dick does talk an awful lot about his own works in here, but we've already established that his works aren't really that coherent. I mean, listen to this. This is an entry where he says that uh, there's all of these stories that should be read and real as one er narrative. Who uses pretentious language like that? Stigmata, Maze, Ubik, Tears, and Scanner. He's even on a first name basis with his own writings. This is clearly the work of a deranged mind. So I wouldn't spend too much time on this person and his thought and his works and trying to figure out if there's some sort of meaning or message behind it or implications. Like I said, anything that's truly worthwhile in his works, hasn't it already been mined by Hollywood directors, by Netflix producers and showrunners? There's no sense in screwing around with Dick and even becoming a dickhead. That's the name of his fans. I will close on that. I mean, what sort of goofball would allow his followers to be named dickheads and to be made the subject of derision and satire in such a way? So, uh, if you find this advice helpful, maybe I can give you some other good literary advice sometime down the road about what to read and definitely what not to read.